There are many different kinds of animals in the world. Some of them are numerous and widespread, while others number in the thousands, hundreds, or even just a few. It's worth getting to know more about these unique critters. From endangered horses to dogs that no one wants, in this episode I'll show you these and other of the rarest animals you'll see for the first time. Let's go! Galicino This is the beautiful name given to a horse breed bred in Mexico in the early 16th century. The Galicino was brought to Latin America by the conquistador Hernán Cortés, who conquered Mexico in 1519. Despite the fact that Mexico was very close to the United States, in the States this breed of horse wasn't known until 1958. However, once news of the Galicino spread, an association for the breeding of these horses was established. These Mexican racehorses have gained much love and popularity in America. It's not only in their uniqueness but also in their diminutive size. They're only about 130 centimeters tall and weigh about 300 kilograms. Many representatives of this breed are famous for their particular fast and smooth stride, so they're very comfortable for the rider. They probably inherited their smooth pace from the Spanish horses, their ancestors. These horses are excellent but unfortunately very few. There are about 100 left in the world, which makes the Galicino the rarest horse breed on the planet. White-bred Shorthorn Everyone knows that horses are often used in agriculture. Although I don't think the Galicino would be suitable for this task, such rare and unique creatures are worth preserving. Also, the white-bred shorthorn is not very suitable for farming, which is nevertheless sometimes used by farmers. The British white-bred shorthorn looks like an ordinary cow, but it's in fact a real unique animal. You won't find meat from these animals in grocery stores because they're extremely rare. Scientists believe that the number of white-bred shorthorn cattle is even smaller than the number of pandas. Scientists suggest that these white beauties are at risk and that they'll soon face complete extinction. Let's hope it doesn't happen, but who knows? Nature's pretty brutal. Burmese Chicken Chickens are another indispensable part of agriculture. You can find all kinds of chicken in grocery stores, but it's unlikely you'll ever cross a frozen Burmese chicken in your local supermarket. The Burmese chicken is probably the rarest breed of chicken on the planet. It's so rare and unusual that for a long time it was thought to be extinct. However, this information was later disproved. In the 1920s, several chickens were found in a small flock. Burmese chickens still exist today, though their population is critically small. The main feature of Burmese chickens is their very short legs. The birds themselves are not very big. They weigh about 500 to 600 grams. Though due to puffy plumage, they look larger than they really are. By the way, Burmese chickens are interesting not only because of their small number. This bird is one of the very few that was studied by the famous evolutionist Charles Darwin. He described these Burmese feathered creatures in his book, The Variation of Animals and Plants Under Domestication. Danish Protest Pig Darwin did not write about these piggies, but they too deserve attention. They're the next farm animals in this episode that are incredibly rare. The Danish Protest Pig is such a rare breed that it's on the verge of extinction. But the breed itself is quite young, it's been bred for about 100 years, and it wasn't until 1954 that the Danish Protest Pig was officially recognized as a breed. The color of these pigs is very striking. Once you've seen it, you'll never confuse it with anything else. It's red with a broad white cross-section. Have you seen any other pigs like it? By the way, it's because of this appearance that the breed got its name. Researchers thought that the coloration of these pigs resembled the Danish flag. It's not only these pigs that are in trouble, but also many other animals on Earth. For example, dogs, which are about to become an extinct breed, the rabbit, which is almost impossible to find, and the species of porpoise, of which there are less than 10 left in the wild. Stay tuned to see these animals and learn lots of interesting facts about them. Dragon Lee No, Dragon Lee is not a rare species of reptile, as you might think. In fact, it's a breed of domestic cat. Of course, these cats are from China. Another name of the breed is the Chinese Li Hua. This breed comes from the Chinese mountain cat, which over the centuries has adapted to live with humans. The breed is indeed an ancient one, as the first mentions of these cats date back to the first millennium BC. Despite its popularity in China, this breed is considered rare. Dragon Li cats are especially rare outside their homeland. As of 2017, there are only four purebred Dragon Li cats in the United States, and that's in a country of about 330 million people. It's believed that it's virtually impossible to buy a purebred dragon outside of China, and in China itself, despite their popularity, these cats are not very numerous. 
At the same time, it's surprising that the cats themselves are quite ordinary. They don't differ much from the ordinary mongrel cats in appearance. What about dogs? There are many breeds among man's best friend, but the otter hound is certainly not one of them. They were bred in Britain in the 19th century. They were bred for hunting, so otter hounds have a strong body and long muscular legs, which allows them to withstand a lot of physical activity. Originally, they were extremely useful. These dogs hunted on otters that interfered with fishermen by eating their catch. The breed was doing very well until 1978, when England passed a law banning otter hunting. The otter hound switched to hunting mink and nutria, but this was no longer the case. Due to the loss of the main specialization, the breed became almost useless and its population began to decline rapidly. Now there are only about a thousand individuals left in the world, so the breed is considered endangered. Red Wolf Things are even worse with these distant relatives of the otter hound. The red wolf is a unique and very rare animal. Scientists call it the rarest member of the canine family. Once, these wolves inhabited most of the eastern United States from Pennsylvania to Texas. In the 20th century, however, extermination and habitat destruction brought the red wolf to the brink of extinction. Their range first shrank to the far southwest of Louisiana and southeast Texas, and by the late 1970s, red wolves had finally disappeared from the wild, with only individuals surviving in zoos and kennels. The red wolf is listed in the Red Data Book as a critically endangered species. Since 1988, works to return red wolves to their natural habitat in the Great Smoky Mountains of North Carolina and Tennessee are underway. Things are progressing, but not fast enough. There are now only a few hundred individuals in the world. All the animals I've already told you about are very rare, but still not so rare that researchers cannot fully study them. The next animal from this episode is much rarer. So much so that only in 2021, scientists managed to interact with a live representative of this species for the first time. I'm talking about a Sumatran striped rabbit, an animal that lives on the Indonesian island of Sumatra at a high altitude above sea level. It was an accident. A male Sumatran striped rabbit was rescued by Indonesian animal advocates after it was accidentally discovered on Facebook. An anonymous user saw that the rabbit was about to be sold and contacted the National Park Authorities who tracked down the owner and seized the animal from him. As it turned out, the rabbit had been accidentally caught by a local farmer who encountered the animal on the edge of the national park near the river. After wildlife officials took the animal away, it was safely released back into the forest next to the camera traps placed there. They hope the cameras will help scientists learn more about the lifestyle of this rabbit. Now the rare striped animal will be monitored, which is great luck because until then the rabbit had only been studied from museum specimens and over the past 22 years, it had only been seen in the wild three times. Sumatran striped rabbits are poorly studied, but there is data on the following animal. This is the vaquita. Seeing it for the first time, you wouldn't realize that this is the animal that's considered the rarest in the world. The latest scientific estimate is that there are less than 10 vaquitas left in the world, although the reality may be even sadder. It's possible that there are only three or, for example, five individuals left. Until 1958, no one knew of the existence of the vaquita. The species was described that very year. Shortly thereafter, the vaquita population began to decline. The vaquitas were rapidly dying out, and illegal fishing in the Gulf of California was to blame. Authorities tried to remedy the situation and even banned the use of gill nets a few years ago, but it didn't do much. It was too late to take action. The point of no return has already been passed. So the vaquita is inevitably on its way to becoming the next extinct species. That's all, guys. Which animal from this episode impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you later.